so something happened last week on another YouTube channel. Let's take a look. Well, can you guess what the worst SEO advice is that I'm going to tell you about? It's actually that content is king. They all say that the more content you create, the better content you create, the better off you're going to do. That's a bunch of baloney. So many of you know Neil Patel. I really respect the business that he's created. He's Absolutely. done awesome stuff in internet marketing. And so when somebody of that caliber talks pretty directly at uh, running contrary to exactly what we teach on this channel, we're going to take notice. And this video, we want to kind of respond with no drama uh, about, about it and show why it is that we do exactly what we teach here on this YouTube channel about how to build a brand, get traffic to your site, and make money. Right. Neil doesn't mention our name directly or anything. We don't feel like he was necessarily trying to cause drama either. And he's one of the biggest SEO players in the game on YouTube here. So we felt like we owe it to our subscribers and to the SEO community in general to just defend our position. Because a lot of our subscribers did feel like it was yeah. pretty direct attack on us. Um, and we definitely heard quite a few comments about it. Um, and he has been kind of stirring up hornet's nests over mm -hmm. there. He uh, made a video kind of exposing click funnels kind of thing. Uh, so anyway, but this is, let's just stick to the facts here and escape all the drama that nobody, we don't have time for that. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about it. So here's his basic position is that content is not king on the web. That basically you make pretty good, mediocre-ish. Mm -hmm. I don't know quite what he's suggesting content. And you just put a heck of a lot of promotion behind it. Now, when you have as large of a platform as he does, that works fine. Right, promotion does a whole lot of good for you. Yeah, because when you have an email list of 200,000 and you have a big Facebook group and an Instagram group and a YouTube following, etc., you put out a pretty good content and you push it to all those channels and kabam, it's gonna pop to the top, right? So in some ways that strategy works. Now it's not quite what I would like to do because I feel like that would hurt a brand. Right. Uh, but does it work? Yeah. If you have a huge audience and you put out kind of this mediocre-ish ebook and just put a heck of a lot of promotion behind it, you're gonna sell a heck of a lot of ebooks. It's gonna work. But that strategy does not work on new sites. And that's what this channel is about. This channel isn't about uh, how we succeed with a giant network of, of websites and 40 writers in an office and a YouTube following and everything else. What we're doing is what you're doing. We're starting brand new sites with from scratch with no audience all the time in different industries, just like you are. Um, and there, Let's say you get somebody who has this website about off-roading, Jeeps, right? Um, and you write this mediocre-ish content about what's the best Jeep for off-roading. And then you just throw a lot of promotion behind it, like mm -hmm. we're being told, right? So I go on Facebook and I try to drum up five people because I don't have an audience. Yeah. And I go to my email list and write it to 10 people because I don't have a giant Facebook list that strategy falls apart for most people uh, who are building brands. Right. It works great when you're a huge brand. Yeah, we get what Neil is trying to do. He's saying, I have millions of page visitors because of this model that I do. But saying, this is what I do, doesn't necessarily translate to, this is what everyone should do. Mm -hmm. Most of the people who follow us and who follow Neil probably haven't gotten to the point where they can promote their content. Um, he says, spend 80% promoting your content, 20% actually creating it. Uh, makes sense in conception, um, but <laughs> what what is someone with a brand new site going to do for eight hours to promote their content, right? And, and how, how effective can it really be? And when we see people doing that, they don't move fast enough. So I, let's go to a specific clip in the video that we're talking about here. If you don't believe me, go write a thousand blog posts. Tell me what happens. I bet you what will happen is your traffic will go up, but very little amounts. Challenge accepted. Let's do it. Yeah. Right. Let's write a thousand pieces of content and just put it out there without the promotion and see what happens. Well, you're right. We haven't written a thousand on this site, but let's take a look at dirtbikeplanet.com. This site is no promotion. We just wrote the articles on there. 
and uh, 100 articles gets 100,000 page views a month just by putting that content out there. Um, so yes, it does work. If you create really good, solid content and put it out there, absolutely it works. And that site sends us paychecks every single month. You go to a site like camperreport.com. Also, we didn't even get to a thousand articles, but even with a couple hundred articles, that site brings in you know, about $10,000 a month and over 300,000 page views a month. So does the strategy work? Content is king? Well, I think so. Yeah. I, I mean, we've showed it over and over. And, you know, he also talks about, you know, this going big and actually making sales from it. Well, improve photography. I did that for years and that site has earned millions of dollars over the years. Um, and exactly this, it's content that you're just writing those articles, good quality content and putting it out into the, into the world. Right, exactly. Neil, I mean, it's great that he promotes his content. We hardly do any promotion. Mm -hmm. Our promotion is our content. If you write great quality content, the links and the relevancy from Google, those things are going to come. Yeah, and you know, he, he made mention, well, of this. Check out the Neil Patel blog. If you notice, I only create one text-based article per week. So he's putting out one text-based article per week yeah um that you know we're talking about content not just text-based mm -hmm. right but now he's reduced it to te one text-based article per week um and so he's saying that's all you need to do one article a week and just promote the heck out of it now what we've seen on newer sites is that strategy fails hard because when you're brand new and google is just not showing your content you need to build up that link velocity. You need enough happening on your website with enough articles hitting Google that it starts to take notice of what's happening. So you can start to break through and really start ranking. We've seen some people in our program who just kind of didn't do enough of the effort, wrote 15, 20-ish articles in the first year, and they said, oh, none of these are ranking. And I look at it and I said, man, it's a, it's a good topic you chose and it's a good article. And the reason it didn't rank is we just didn't get that velocity. We didn't get any momentum going on this website with Google. And so this strategy, I feel like really harms somebody with a new website when they try to recreate it because there's no momentum that gets up there. When you're giant, and yeah, you're only writing one piece of content a week, but you can throw a huge amount of volume to it, mm -hmm. yeah, that's actually totally fine. Uh, and you're gonna do fine. But also, notice the text-based. He's putting out three or four YouTube videos a week. Yeah. And podcasts and other things. It's not as if he's putting out this teeny little trickle of content. He's a content animal. Yeah. He's putting a huge volume of content into the world each week. And so I do feel like it was a little bit deceptive in the way that it was presented. Not intentionally, but I, I feel like people could get the wrong idea. That's how I should say it. Yeah, so all we're saying is don't interpret um, Neil's video the wrong way. Don't go and from the beginning say, I'm just gonna do a bunch of promotion because Neil puts out plenty of content to maintain his brand, as should everyone. Um, so just realize promotion can work, but content, that's the direction that Google's going. That's how we become successful. That's how we believe everyone can do it as well. We're seeing the websites that are doing the opposite of what was taught in that video just dominating the mm -hmm. internet right now. Yeah. Look at a wire cutter. They're not producing a massive volume of content. They're producing a few reviews where they get a team of people and they buy 80 different types of wireless earbuds, right? They just go buy a ton of them. They get a team of people in a room and they spend dozens of hours just rigorously testing these things and then they write this epic uh, uh, review or product recommendation of wireless earbuds and they are absolutely crushing it in the search results. Is content king? Oh yeah, oh yes. Look at our, our creator studio. You know, the, you have to find a balance. You know, we can produce a huge amount of, con of content there. 15, 20 blog posts in a day, 
no problem. We're producing a lot of content there, but you have to also balance that. Mm -hmm. It's gotta be good content because yes. content is king on the web. Um, and so we're saying, how can we give our writers a little bit more time? How can we give them better research so these articles are the highest quality we possibly can? It's volume and quality. You have to have both pieces. If you're ready to get your empire begun and building up online, check out our Project 24 webinar. It's a YouTube video that you can watch that kind of walks you straight through the process of how we're working with people starting brand new websites and getting them up to those hundreds of thousands of page views.